Well, hello there, YouTube, and welcome to Wednesday, the 9th of August, 64 degrees, and uh, yeah, we made it to hump day. There's actually a 30% chance of rain today here in Toledo. How about that? The last rain we had was just a, a just an utter surprise, and when it was here, just the phone and stuff just says, chance of rain, 100%. Well, you were 100% in it at the moment. <laughs> but, yeah, another cloudy morning. This is actually kind of nice. It's keeping the, you know, this is a, a normal Pacific Northwest summer, 80s. You know, 90s is a high temp event around here. Used to be. But as you guys have seen the last five, six years, we've had some crazy temperatures. Which is not to say we won't still, but... So far, so good. Keep your fingers crossed. All right, let's roll out. A shocking difference in weather down here in Vancouver. Yeah. 75 and mostly sunny. Yeah. No, it rained on us several times going down the freeway. Yeah, it's all cloudy and yeah. sprinkly. Well, like, a, like a spring morning kind of a thing to it, mm -hmm. you know? But mama, Just we haven't made it to hump day. We have. We just got to get on the other side. Yeah. We'll be there soon enough. Mm -hmm. <laughs> well, Mama, I hope you have a wonderful day. You too, sweetie. I'll see you as the day goes on. All right. Love you. See you. Bye. I love you. Bye-bye <laughs> now. Bye. Well, they say there's no chance of rain here in Vancouver. The humidity is about 210%, I swear. Ooh, it's thick out here. But it was sprinkling earlier, and I got to take this... GSA for a good ride. It's having some kind of issue I need to figure out. So, um, hope I don't get wet. Hang tight. I guess we're gonna do that next. Whew. This thing has those Metzler Carew 3s and they feel funky. I know they're really funky. Remember they were putting them on the, <laughs> the R9T scramblers? Even Metzler as the story goes, Metzler was telling BMW, don't put them on there. They're, that's not a heavy enough bike. And uh, I don't know when that was, 2017, 18, whenever that was released. And all the reviewers got it and was freaking out. Feet off the pegs, everything else. <laughs> Everybody thought they were going down. And the first couple I rode literally scared the heck out of me. I'm going to go out and towards the country here a little bit. And... We'll, uh, we'll give her some tests here and see see what I can find. Well, I've made a fairly big mistake here. <laughs> I wanted to do some back roads, and um, I've come through here before, and now there's houses and apartments literally everywhere, and traffic, unbelievable traffic. There'll be a freeway coming through here next year. Man, that's what I'm talking about. Traffic's getting lighter. I'm passing way more motorcycles out here. Ooh, look at that tree fell over. Yeah, now we're talking country. Boy, them crew threes, that thing howls. Especially one up front. You know how these GSGSAs are the sound from the front tire it comes up anyway. Ooh, certain speed she really howls, especially on like more fresh blacktop. Man, look at that. How did you get all that there? <laughs> Traffic free. I took a turn. And everybody went the other way. <laughs> oh yeah, we got some hills rolling through here too. Nice. Let's see if I can uh, get used to these Karoos, man. They just feel sketchy underneath me. Oh man. Look at this nice little country road I found. Oh. Look at this. Oh, man. Did you lead me here? Huh? You GSAs, you gotta, you guys are sneaky. Oh, she 
rolling in tight down here. I have to back her in. <laughs> oh, look at this. Them beautiful trees. Oh, there's a switchback for you. Oh, what is this? <laughs> I knew where I was going. I took you to the grist mill down here. Is that beautiful or what? We just gotta do the roll up the hill and back. This thing's like stupid steep. when you're going down you look off that edge to the right that is creepy you know, it's a little two lane highway I come out here and turn around on it losing my mind so I could come around one of those corners and take me out oh, bike with go oh. oh yeah that's a long ways down Holy moly. Look at that. Is that beautiful or what? Wonderful. So, uh, you're probably wondering what the heck. Those of you with a keen eye probably already wonder what's going on. There's my, I don't know, seven or eight year old phone holder. There's my phone. There's my six year old Nav 6. It's my demo. <laughs> so the owner was asking me, talking about the trip and what am I riding and stuff like that. So. One thing led to the, to another between the GM and the owner. I'm going to ride a GSA to Utah and Colorado. I know some of you Harley fans, and there's a lot of you probably not going to like that. But uh, the last what three trips I've done, it's on one of these. All my gear is set up that way. So as I was thinking about it last night. Or actually, the day before yesterday, I decided to do it. So I drug her down. It's been it was built nine months ago. And the battery's dead. No one ever put it on a charger, and um, there's no updates or anything like that. All that had been done, and um, yeah, here she is. She's a beauty. 2023. So being a bike built, you know. In December of last year um, it's missing some things missing the heated seat and when you go through the heated grips you got off one and two you don't have that cool display another thing I noticed is I'm driving it has no canceling turn signals what in the heck and like I was someone was asking because they bought a 23 and goes can I order the optional seats nope it's missing the harness to make that work and the computer and everything just like the grips don't work like the ones with the heated seats now you got them five levels for uh, your grips five levels for your seat you no know, you got three levels you got like a medium uh, nuke and off that's the way they were before but anyway <laughs> hope that was a nice little surprise for you the suspension wasn't set up one of my demos was that way too I had to calibrate the ride height sensors and the um, the ESA this thing was dong pogo stick full length they do that because that's how they um, haul them in the crate so that the tie downs have a lot of tension against them and the, the bike's not going to bounce around the crate but anyway I'm riding this home and I'm keeping it through the trip and uh, by then the weather's going to be turning bad so I'll get it back as soon as I can and um, 
Yeah, there we are. So I have everything to tour on this thing. Kelly's going, you did all that work getting that road king ready. I said, well, mama, look at it this way. It ain't gonna be too long before that's gonna be our touring bikes when we're retired and free to roam the country. So any chance not to rack up miles on my Road King um, would be a good thing. Because one thing, the standard Road King is gone. There is no 23 model. And um, yeah, I keep them forever. The less I have to rack up unnecessary, not that that would be unnecessary, that would be a fantastic thing to go for that, take it on that trip. And I probably will at some point because I'm not forever going to have this option to take spiders and BMWs, you know? Boy, what a mile cruncher this thing is. Woo! Kick that shield out. I don't know if the seat is thinner, I've shrunk, or the shield is taller, but I can't have the shield all the way up because I, <laughs> I can't see over it. My eyes are like hitting right in there when it's all the way up. I mean, I know to you at Superview, and you're sitting on the bottom of my chin. You look like you're, uh, looks like that shield's as, as big as a wall. Yeah, she's not. These things, I don't know why, they usually do it the first couple of rides, uh, the 1250s. The 1200s did it to me all the time and never went away. But, uh, man, they make my hand, hand go numb. But already, it's smoothed out amount of uh, bombing down the road I've done already but boy she was buzzy I mean this thing is buzzy as an old twin cam soft tail with a dual balancer the old B motors man you get up to speed and them things just a high frequency buzz that tickles your well everything but this is doing that <laughs> it's not now though I mean noticeably it's but they do that and then you get it 621 miles, 10,000 or a thousand kilometers, whatever. Do that first service, and uh, yeah, they're, they're totally different after that. But there's no break-in oil in there. <laughs> I'll never tell. God, almighty, that tire is loud up front. I was going to say earlier before. I told you guys exactly what I was doing. <laughs> Sorry for the little poking dagger. But, um, why don't you knock off some of the sharp edges on that thing? On those things, though, quite. A, I'm gonna leave that flasher on. We'll see. Uh, you can't probably see it, huh? Let's see if it. Oh, hey, there it went. It's the old fashioned timeout one. The last few I've had are just like a Harley. You take a turn, boom, it's off. Things change. It's weird when this thing was built in uh, late 22 that there was still supply issues, huh? You guys hear that tire howling down there? No lights. I love this crossing. I never catch them here anymore. Always come in, same thing. No lights. No, well, it looks like there could be rain looking towards Vader over there. It hasn't been too long since it rained here. I mean, look at the look at the road. Yeah, it has not been long. Anything's in the shade hasn't dried out yet. I, I, I ran through a spot after I turned the camera off back there and I thought if I come across another one, I'll turn the camera on. Yeah, literally water puddled on the road. And uh, I didn't set my modes. It's, it has uh, uh, Ride Modes Pro, which is, you know, Dynamic Pro and all that stuff, but it's not, it's not selected in the this has got, it's got rain, oh, it's got an eco mode. Yikes. 
I won't be trying that. But it's just basic boats. I need to go in. I think I had to do that before. So I tried again. The turn to turn signals do cancel, but it's the old-fashioned. Uh, God, they haven't been that way in a while. The old-fashioned one that just times out. And um, yeah, it has no like Harley's. It has motion detection. It goes, okay, you've made that turn. I'll turn you off. I mean, they were every bit as good as Harley's, and literally no one does stuff counseling certain turn signals better. Although you can sure trick them with a flirty, though. <laughs> Not getting the same leans, but it's crazy accurate for a bike that doesn't lean. But the IMU senses the, you know, the turn. Doesn't have to lean to feel it. But um, that's the only one I've seen get tricked every once in a while. Anyway, what do you guys think? Well, I know you'll leave comments. <laughs> you guys are really hoping for the Rude King. I'm I'm truly sorry. But uh, just know there will be lots of Rude King trips. Rude Kings and Flirties. So we're saving everything. Saving ourselves, saving our bikes. <laughs> We'll be up with you here to say goodbye here in just a moment. Well, hello there, you do. How about that? Got the old BMW hat on once again. <laughs> Was that a surprise? That's cool. I literally hadn't... Yeah, that was a surprise. The whole thing just kind of came about. Yeah. So, save our retirement Harleys for... Retirement. For all them rides, <laughs> them long rides, and camping Can't wait. and whatever. Oh, yeah, we talk Count about it. Days. Talk about it all the time. Yeah. Just go traveling around, be bums for a little bit, you know? Mm hmm. That'll be good times. It's going to be so much. Fun. Hope everybody stays healthy, healthy and all mm -hmm. that. Be sure watching our P's and Q's here, especially after I got my little wake up call a few months back. Yeah. So, yeah. Need to take care of themselves. Yep. Need to have that all that free time back. You mm -hmm. know, you lose it when you're about 16, and you don't get it back till about 62 or yeah. whenever you have to. You know, your time is. But anyway, hope you enjoy it. Hope you're looking forward to the rides on a different bike. The ride will still be just as cool, just different motorcycles. Mm -hmm. Like I say, we'll have plenty Harley rides coming. Oh, yeah. But um, anyway, on that, we're going to roll out. Alrighty, Well, thank you guys so much for watching. We really do appreciate it. We will talk to you tomorrow. Same smoke time, same smoke channel. Don't forget to give her a thumbs up. And you guys have a wonderful Thursday or Friday. Heck yeah. All right. <laughs> Here comes Dan. <laughs> yeah. I see him running across back there in the camera. Oh. All right. See you guys tomorrow. See you then. Bye-bye. Bye. -bye. Bye.